Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And uh, thanks especially to Chris Connett for the specific advice on the camera yesterday. But I played around with the frames per second and the um, flicker rate, and I haven't managed to get that fixed yet. So I'm going back to the um, built-in camera for now, and we'll see if we can improve that as time goes on. Um, the new hunt from Matthias Martinka has proved very difficult. Now, last time we ran a hunt, by day two we were getting dozens of answers and we haven't even got a dozen on um, the second day of this one. So sincere congratulations to those people. I think Simon listed them earlier who have got, got in um, with the right answer. That's a really impressive performance because there are stumbling blocks in this puzzle hunt. We are aware of that and well done to those who have done it. Everybody who has done it has lavished praise on the hunt, which I think is well-deserved, but good luck if you're still going through it. Um, it's a tough one. Now, we also, uh, I told you about a week ago that we had received three snooker puzzles. I don't know if we're going to get Simon to do the one with a really long, complicated rule set on um, Patreon, but I'm doing the second of the, of the three today by uh, the Dutch puzzle master Ard on the waitering and um, I'm really looking forward to giving this a go. I always enjoy Ard's puzzles. Um, I missed a sort of hidden Easter egg in the last one in which the um, numbers that apply to the snooker balls on the table in their original position were in roughly the right place on the snooker table. I, I apologize uh, to our previous author, but uh, this time I don't think that can happen. The two's not bad for yellow but clearly black is off its spot down here and i don't think we can fit in um four and three up here so three would have to be there four here five probably there six and seven that's clearly not happening here but we do nonetheless have a green snooker table with its pockets around and what's this maybe the arena around that um and they are indeed on the last day of the world snooker championship at the crucible in sheffield today um, and we'll see how that goes. Selby against Murphy, I think. Interesting match for those interested in snooker or who have heard of it. Quite a few people pointed out they hadn't even heard of the game last time, and I'm sorry to those guys. Anyway, this puzzle isn't much themed on it. We have the classic snooker number 147, and I know that's not the maximum break that is theoretically achievable if you started with a free ball before potting 15 reds, 15 blacks, and the colors. But it is the normal maximum break in snooker. Um, one, four, seven. So that appears here. That's why the puzzle's called snooker one, four, seven. Uh, the other rules on the puzzle are as follows. So normal Sudoku rules, digits on the arrows, sum to the number in the arrow that they're connected to. And we have these gray Renban lines, which have four consecutive digits in any order on each of them. So uh, it doesn't have to be the same four for different Renban lines. It just has to be four consecutive digits, but not necessarily in the right order on each line. Now, that's the rules. Before I get started, I do want to obviously mention Patreon, where, where this new May puzzle hunt um, called Build Your Own Sudoku is well underway. And as I say, proving very popular. Uh, there's all our apps, of course, and loads of stuff going on on Discord, as always, at the moment. All the links are in the description field under the video. Um, and on the channel today, Demono's uh, explanation of how he set one of the incredible puzzles that Simon did recently. And that, for everybody who's been asking, how do constructors achieve this? That is an absolutely fascinating one. It's about Taco Bowl 3, his um, very interesting sort of take on a sandwich idea and really tricky puzzle. And he explains A, how he had the idea, B, how he made it so tricky effectively. I mean, it really is an interesting video for anyone aspiring to, to set Sudokus or just wanting to understand what's in the mind of these fiends who send us these puzzles. Anyway, let's have a look at this one now. Let's get cracking. Um, so, a bit of pencil marking to start with. We've, 
We've got given digits. Ard is, Ard is nice and old school in that he gives us something to work with. Uh, the green area, by the way, is totally irrelevant. It's just for the sake of the uh, snooker table image with the pockets outside it. Um, as far as I know, anyway. Seven in one of those. Actually, no. Seven. No, it could be there. Just. Um, okay, not very much going on from the given digits. So let's think. Ah, I was going to say, let's think about the arrows, but one of the Renban areas has got me interested. This one is interesting because four consecutive digits here that do not include a five, well, they have two possibilities, and they couldn't be more distinct, the two possibilities. It's either one, two, three, and four appearing on that Renban line, or six, seven, eight, and nine, and that's going to have, it's going to have an effect on these two cells. Whatever that is, if this was one, two, three, four, this has to be at least six, and there can't be a difference of more than three between them. And if it's six, seven, eight, nine, this can be at most four, and again, there can't be a difference of more than three between them. So that one has to be one, two, or three, but that doesn't help me learn which version of this we have going on. Ah, right. Let's have a look down here at these two arrows pointing to the same cell. Yeah, what's interesting here is that there's a 1 and a 2 that are not available for this whole set. Certainly not on these arrows because of that 1 and that 2. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what can a pair add up to here that comes to a Sudoku number? 3 and 5 is one possibility. 3 and 6 is another. 4 isn't even available. So that, that, I mean, that's why I'm starting at 3 and 5. They are the only two ways of doing it. So 3 must be shared between those. The other two are 5 and 6. We know which way round they go because of this helpful little 5 up here. So we've done two of the arrows already. The ones down at the black end of the table, I guess. Now... What does that mean? That means the rest of the row uses 2, 4, and 7 in some order. The rest of box 8 uses 1, 8, and 9. Um, these cells come from 3, 6, and 9. These from 3, 8, and 9, given everything else they see. Oh, I've just spotted. There's a lovely 2, 5 pair. So this pencil mark 2 can become a 2, 5 pair that we know Occupy those two cells. Hmm, and that kind of peters out a bit there. Can we pull, we can't really pull the same sort of trick up here because two is not possible here, but one is, and that's, and four. Hmm, okay, I don't know how to limit that. Do we focus on that or do we look for something else? Interesting question. What is the answer? Maybe we wonder about four being here. Okay, what can this cell be? Let's, let's, let's look at possibilities. I don't see it. another more obvious way to proceed. And let's bear in mind, again, that with this Renban, we're looking at these two both being high of over five or low under five. Um, and it can't be nine anymore. Okay, that's getting interesting. Eight, seven, or six. Eight, seven, or six there would be accompanied by, oh, well, by six or seven here. So that can't actually be a six. And then the difference couldn't even be as much as three. But... There is the alternative that this could be 4, 3, or... No, it couldn't be 2, because that would have two ones on its arrow. 4 or 3 with... Yeah, it could be a 1, 3 pair if this was 4, or 1 there and 2 there if this was 3. Now, this can't be 3, because we can't have a 2 on that arrow, so that's ruled out. In fact, I think... Okay, this means this is either 1, 3, 6, 2, 6, 1, or 7, 1. 
Now, what about this that is four, seven, or eight? So there's a three down here. So if it was one, three, it would go that way around. If it was a total of seven, ah, it can't be four, three, given those placed fours, and it can't be five, two. So it would have to be six, one, and that would be that way around, given this six. And if this was eight, couldn't be six, two, or five, three, it would be one, seven, and that would be that way around, seven, one, eight. So it's either seven, one, eight, six, one, seven, or one, three, four. And that's, that is a more limited set than I thought, but can we take it over here? Can this be a four? No. Now that's a lovely question, because with a one, that would be a five, which clashes with that. With a six or a seven, it would give us a two-digit number there, so we can put in the four. I mean, I, I call it a lovely question. I don't really know if it does anything more than place the four. Ah, but look, in the column now, this has to be three, six, or nine. It can't be nine on a two-cell arrow. What? If it's... Ah, it can't be 3, 1, because that would need another 3 here. That, that's impossible. Or it would break that cell. 6, 1, 7, with 3, 4, that side is possible. 3, 6, 9, that's the only other possibility. So this can't be a 7 anymore. Sorry, that should have been obvious once we eliminated the... Actually, that could never have been a 7, since 1 and 2 are givens in that column. Right. Ah, now this is a 3, 6, 1, triple. How lovely. So I don't know what the answers are at the end here. Actually, 8 has become impossible. So it either goes 9, 3, 6, 1, 7, or 7, 6, 1, 3, 4. And I cannot disambiguate those. I can take seven out of that. Actually, I think I can take two out of here now as well. This is either four from one, three, or seven from six, one. I'm not really trying with this seven or nine because that looks like a lot of possibilities. But now, three, six, one there. This is a seven, nine pair. That's looking down at this triple. So that's a one, eight pair. This becomes our nine in the bottom in box eight. Now, now nine comes out of that pair. That means three comes out of this one, and suddenly six comes out of this cell, and it's all resolved. That's beautiful. That's really gorgeous. Right, so seven there, nine there. This is now six and one, making seven. And now I'm starting to panic. Why have I said it had to be that way around? Yes, that's because of this Renban, which is getting fixed. That's why. Right. So this is now a 1, 2, 3, 4 Renban. So we can't have 4 at the top. That also can't be a 1. This can't be 1 or 3. And this can't be 2. So we've still got that all to resolve. 2, 4 and 8 to fill in the row. Oh, this is very clever how this works. Now, what about this? Um, this arrow. The only way it could avoid starting with an 8 is in which case this would be 5, 3, is if it starts with a 5. Ah, oh, no, it can't start with a 5. We've used up the 1, so that would have to be 2, 3 on the arrow. And look, that would break that cell now. So this must be an 8, I think. Yes. Then it's 3, 5 on the arrow. That becomes a 2. That fixes this. Now we've got a 1, 3 pair left there. So the others are 9 and 8 in box 3. We can fill them in. That fixes the 9, 9, 7 pair. Um, 4, 9, 5, 2, 8. So, ah, oh, look. These cells are from 1, 3, 6 and 7. What does that mean for the Renban? Don't know. Actually, it doesn't mean it has to be 6 and 7 or 1 and 3, because it could just be 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm left a bit in the dark there. Now, this column, though, has to end in a 4 now. That tells us where the 4 is in row 8 over there. 2, 
seven, four. Now, is this four, five, six, seven, or one, two, three, four, or two, three, four, five? Okay, a few too many possibilities. I'm still putting off looking at these, although I feel that might be profitable, but I'll do that in a moment. First of all, okay, where does nine go in box seven? That's a nice question. That nine says not here. That can't be a nine because, well, for various reasons. Um, this can't be a nine because the Ren band couldn't get there. Four, five, six, seven is the most it can aspire to. So we can fill in nine there. Now, two has to be at the top somewhere. No, those can't be four anymore. Ooh, and that's getting interesting. If this is an eight, they will have to be six and seven with a five here. But if it's a two, they're going to have to be one and three with a four here. And that's not possible because of that four. If that was a two, we can't get to six. Yeah, so that doesn't work. So it is an eight. That's very neat. Eight there. That's a six, seven pair. Um, this is nine or five. It's five because we've got a nine in the row already. That's become a two. One, three, and four. That's three or four. This can be any of one, three, or four. Now, together with the nine, that makes this not eight. That won't work. So we can take one out. Six or five. But now we've got a three, four pair here. We get a one there. Three and a one on that Renban line. Doesn't do much over the rest. One, eight, five, four. So, okay, what else have we got going down here? What can this be? It can't be nine, eight, four, seven, or one by ordinary Sudoku rules. So, three, five, or six. It can't be a two because that would need two ones. If it's a three, well, that could work. One, two, Eight, nine, four, five. Yeah, that could work. If it was a five, that would be six, three. So the five would have to be four, one. And that doesn't work. Oh, okay. The simpler question in this column is where does two go? And that two says not there. So now it's got to be on the arrow. So one of those cells on the arrow is a two. Um, that is telling us that this can't be a 5, because if that was 2, 3, then you can't make up the 9 either way, either 5, 4, or 3, 6. So 5's gone. If this was 4, 2, making 6, again, the two possibilities here of 3, 6, and 4, 5 have been taken away. So that has to be a 3 with a 1, 2 beneath it. Um, that becomes 4. Therefore, this is five. We've got all the arrows done apart from those two. And six, seven at the top and bottom of column three. Right. Um, five there has sorted out the two, five pair. That sorts out the last arrow. That's neat. That sorts out the eight, three pair. Just two pairs left in the central three columns. Um, now, what about this Renban line then? It's got to have a 5 on it somewhere because you've got to join 4 with either 6 or 7. That 5 says it's not there, so I can fill in a 5 here. But this could be 3 or 6. Hmm, those numbers. Right, Let's. what about this one? 4, 5, 6, 7. No, look, we've got all the 5s done in these uh, three rows. So we can't put a five on the line, and yet there's a four. So it must be four, one, two, three. So that's very helpful. Now we've got eight and six to complete box nine. That's finally done the one eight pair in the middle. This has become seven, three there, and six there for the Sudoku, and that makes that work as a four, five, six, seven line. Now we can finish box one, and we've just got two boxes left and one more pair. So four, six, and eight must go eight, six, four, like that, given these eights and four. Um, 
probably can't do 297 there. So let's flick over to this. 2, 4 and 6 here. Yep, we can do those as well. That 6 has finished the green area, the table of our snooker match. Uh, 2, 7 and 9. Now we can do that. That's a 9. 7 and 2. And 3 more cells to go. 7, 5, 9. So not too bad there today. Lovely puzzle as usual from Ard. Some really pretty logic at the beginning with the arrows especially. But, but that Renban was important as well. So I hope you spotted that. We don't see all that much Renban. And it's very interesting. It gives some very interesting uh, patterns in the grid, I suppose. So thank you very much for watching. As always, do have a look at Demono's constructing video. Um, and have a go at that puzzle hunt. It, it's tough, but it's very rewarding. So thank you very much for watching. See you again next time. Bye for now.